please be seated. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this graduation ceremony in the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall. I know many of you will have traveled quite a way to be here today, and we all appreciate your presence. This is a very special day for you graduates. It's a day to be rightly proud of what you have achieved. The programs you completed have all given you a great potential for making a positive difference to the world around you locally and globally in a range of different ways. It's also a special day for family and friends of the graduates. You are likely to have played at least a supporting role in the graduates' achievements. And I want to thank you on behalf of the university for the encouragement you've given to our graduates. Graduation is also a special time for the university, especially so for my colleagues who have taught you. We hope that you will keep in touch with them and let them know where your studies take you. Manchester University is a prestigious university. It does well in national and international rankings, and it is involved in national and international collaborations in research and teaching. Our major research beacons include world-leading cancer research, as well as research addressing global inequalities. In teaching, there are initi initiatives to encourage interdisciplinarity and the, develop, the development of skills beyond those included in the curriculum. In addition to ambitious goals in research and teaching, the University of Manchester is in it unusual in that it also sets itself demanding targets when it comes to social responsibility. And this year, in the Times Higher Education Impact Ranking, the University of Manchester was ranked number one higher education institution in Europe for its social and environmental impact across its full range of functions. And it was in the top three globally. What makes us great are our people, staff and students. During your time here, each one of you will have contributed in your own way to making us who we are. Not only our current students shape the university, however, our alumni are also important to us, and I hope you will continue to play a role in making us who we are also in the future. It is customary on occasions like these to tell you of the famous people connected to the university. The atom was first split here by Ernest Rutherford, and we have another 24 Nobel Prize winners associated with the university. Alan Turing developed the first programmable computer here, and Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays Turing in the film The Imitation Game, is a graduate of the university. Our alumni have made national and international impressions, not just in academic achievements, but in a broad range of fields. Our former students include Anna Ford, a broadcaster who was the first female newsreader on ITV, Margaret Beckett, a Labour politician and the longest serving female MP, Irene Khan, a former student and now honorary doctor, was the Secretary General of Amnesty International from 2001 to 2009. It's quite possible that some years from now, when one of my successors presents degrees like I'm doing today, your name is included in the list of famous graduates. However, whether you reach fame or not, what I wish for you is that you find your niche in life, professionally and personally. A place where your knowledge and skills are valued and used, and where you have the right level of challenge to develop further as a professional and as a person, while at the same time feeling secure in your own abilities. I know that the degree you've completed at the University of Manchester will have prepared you for this. However, I thought I would take this opportunity to offer you three pieces of advice. Firstly, if things aren't looking perfect, and I guess maybe most immediate for you, if you haven't found that right job yet, uh, have confidence that things will change for the better. Secondly, be aware that there's rarely a perfect time for decisions and choices. Or if there is, we don't know it until afterwards. Therefore, my second piece of advice to you is to be open to opportunities at all times and take your chances when they come along. 
The choices will not always work out perfectly, but then you try something else. The first president of the merged University of Manchester, Professor Alan Gilbert, frequently said, there's nothing wrong with failing as long as you get it over with quickly. So my third piece of advice would then be, don't be afraid of failing, just learn to do it quickly. So to sum up, even when things don't look too good, good stuff will happen, and you should be ready to react to stuff without fear of failure. That's enough advice from me. All that remains for me now is to encourage you again to keep in touch with the university and with my colleagues who have taught you. I hope you're aware that the Alumni Association, the Careers Office and the Library will still offer you benefits now that you're not students but graduates of the University of Manchester. And now I will pass over to Professor David Hill to speak on behalf of the school. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure for me and a great honor to be able to um, address you at the uh, graduation ceremony of the School of Environment, Education and uh, Development. And particularly, I think we're focused on the Manchester Institute of Education and the Global Development um, Institute. At the School of Environment, Education and Development, we call it SEED, and most of our students have to start their courses by learning all the acronyms that we use. Um, we're a very diverse um, school. We have architects, urban planners, geographers, people who work on international development, and the School of Education, or the, the, the Institute of Education. Um, but we are united in one thing, and that's our focus on both excellent uh, teaching, but also on social responsibility and on trying to impact uh, on the world in, uh, in ways that will uh, improve it. And um, this is really important for us, and we hope this is uh, an ethos and a philosophy that we've been able to transfer to our students. Those of you who are graduating from the Manchester um, Institute of Education uh, will be aware of the undergraduate and the postgraduate and the doctoral programs it runs, which certainly are leading the UK and uh, many of which are, are world leading. At the Global Development Institute, we've also been focusing on our teaching programs and our research and on our, uh, our social responsibility. Um, colleagues at the Manchester Institute of Education have been developing research which looks particularly at how disadvantaged children in the UK can get access to education and can take advantage of that education. Um, with the geographers in our school, they've been looking at how we improve the air quality around the schools at Manchester and beyond, and how we can ensure that the environments in which children are learning are greatly improved. At the Global Development Institute, then, we have a whole group of colleagues looking at global value chains, how products grown in Africa are processed in Asia and are sold in Manchester city centre to the students and the people who live um, in Manchester. We also uh, lead on the Global Inequalities Beacon, which is one of the university's five beacons and one of the areas around which the university ensures that it is uh, globally uh, leading. Um, for the students, we're going to congratulate you in a, in a second about uh, all that you've achieved, all your hard work, all the blood, sweat and tears that have gone into achieving your success in the degree program. But before we do that, I'd just like us to congratulate the parents and friends. Um, because behind every successful student are a whole host of parents and friends and social networks which help them to come through, sometimes through emotional support, sometimes by providing cash when it's needed, a whole variety of different ways. But I'd like the students to thank the family uh, and all the friends for what they've done. I mean, this is hopefully a, a, a joyous day, but we also realize that for many of you at the moment, you're currently locked into the tasks, uh, the nitty gritty work of finding employment, of thinking about your future, of trying to work out how you will take the studies that you've done and the experiences that you have forward. Um, we would, uh, uh, as the Vice President would say, encourage you to make sure that you maintain your links with Manchester. 
Quite often your lecturers and your tutors will know of the forms of employment that may be becoming available. Um, quite commonly they'll be involved in providing references with you for the employment that you'll be seeking and help them to help you by making sure they understand what the job is that you want the reference for so that they can customise exactly the reference that, uh, that you need on that. Um, it's really gratifying for us to see how many of you have come to the programmes that we teach recommended by people who have taken those courses in earlier years and we hope that you will find that this has been a rewarding experience and that you can continue to develop the momentum of the teaching and of the research uh, that we uh, undertake uh, at Manchester. Um, we're really proud that you've chosen to associate yourself with the School of Environment, Education and uh, Development and we hope that we'll be able to remain connected with you both intellectually and practically in the future. In a way, we'd like to think of you joining the family of the University of Manchester and particularly of the, uh, the School of Environment and Education. Um, joining that family doesn't mean that we'll send you birthday presents every year. Um, but it does mean that we will try to stay in touch. That might mean a, a brief hello once every five years, once every 10 years from academics who've been teaching you when they're visiting the different institutions in which you work, when they're visiting different uh, cities uh, across uh, the world. But um, increasingly we are finding we're able to mount alumni events um, in Manchester and in London, but recently we've also been able to mount events in Accra, in Kampala, in Dhaka, in Bangladesh, in Delhi, in Washington DC, in Shanghai and Tokyo. So please do make sure that you sign up for the alumni networks and then we can keep in touch with you and we may be able to, to meet you. Meet to say hello, but also meet so that we can tell you about the way in which our intellectual agenda, our thinking about policy, our thinking about how to try and improve the lives of people in other parts of the world world the way that that um, is moving forward. Um, but um, ICTs and other forms of, uh, of device have changed and we can now actually keep in touch without adding too much to our individual carbon footprints. And certainly you'll find in the school that we're very keen to keep in touch with you through LinkedIn, through Twitter, through Facebook. And those of you who know me will know what a technophobe I am, but through I'm sure all sorts of platforms that you know about, but which I don't even know the, uh, the name of. Um, certainly set up groups if you want, and do make sure that you get in touch with your supervisors and with your lecturers so that they can be part of those groups and they can see the ways in which your careers are developing, the ways in which your interests are developing, and the types of challenges that you're facing and how you're trying to overcome um, those, uh, those challenges. Um, uh, so, so please do. Some of you ultimately may actually think about returning to Manchester, and it was my privilege this morning to announce the names of certainly eight of the uh, students, uh, PhD students from the, uh, the Global Development Institute who'd completed their PhDs. So if you are thinking about further uh, education, then do take a look at what we can offer here. Um, I hope when you look back at your time in Manchester that you can uh, look on it with, uh, with, 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 with pleasure and think about the great times you've had. You'll probably also remember the times at which your tutors and supervisors and lecturers pushed you to rewrite um, parts of your dissertation and told you that parts of the, uh, the ch some chapters were weak and that you needed to work on them, but uh, please see that as, uh, as constructive criticism, which is certainly the way it was meant. We hope that you've been able to develop intellectually through what you've been doing here, and we certainly find that you're part of the process that allows us as uh, lecturers and researchers at the University of Manchester to develop our capacities and improve our teaching uh, and research. Um, so we look on progressing those relationships and also the friendships and the companionships that you've developed over your period um, at Manchester. So I mean, congratulations on your, uh, your achievement. Um, unfortunately, you have got a great task facing you. You've got to 
Look at employment and look at how you make your livelihood in the world, but also Manchester is the UK's uh, leading university in social responsibility and in policy impact. You also have to think about how you are personally going to make the world a better place. And that's not an easy task, but we think that we've uh, hopefully developed the skills and the attitudes and some of the values that will help to take you forward uh, with that. So uh, we'll now move on to the part of the ceremony in which we'll applaud each of you for your individual achievements. Thank you very much. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Masters in Arts in Digital Technologies, Communication, Education, Abu Bakr El Sadiq Abbas. Abu Bakr. <laughs> Shireen Nazar Al Jaf, who was also awarded the Platt Prize. <laughs> Sarah bin Nafisa. Wu Xuan Chang. Are you Chen? Isaac Kwame Dunyo. Hong. <laughs> Wei Wen Hu. <laughs> Shui Huang. <laughs> Jin Shi Jiang. Yi Hao Jiang. <laughs> Ling Li. <laughs> ZD Jin. <laughs> Xiao Han Li. Yi Xin Li. <laughs> Suki Liang. <laughs> Jiang Nan Lin. <laughs> Yi Xian Yu. And Yi Xuan Yu. <laughs> Li Mei Ma. <laughs> Jia Shi Mai. <laughs> Yi Tan Nie. Jaylin Yu. <laughs> Yue Kin. <laughs> Fei Ren. <laughs> Kelly Snape. Suki Sun. <laughs> Alia Mertzer Tamer, also awarded the Black Prize. <laughs> Chuo Wang.
Stephen David Wheeler. <laughs> Wen Xing Shu. <laughs> Rui Jie Yang. <laughs> Dong Xing Zhang. Jan Wen Zhang. <laughs> Jian Yao Zhang. <laughs> Rong Zhang. <laughs> Xu Xian Zhang. <laughs> Yu Tong Zhang. Xi Zhao. <laughs> Wen Jia Xiao. <laughs> Yu Zhao. <laughs> Zhi Xuan Zhao. <laughs> Wei Xin Zheng. Kun Yu Zheng. <laughs> and Yun Hang Zhou. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of, of Arts in Digital Technologies, Communication and Education, TESOL Pathway, Lilia Vikova, <laughs> Song Chi Li, <laughs> Shi Yu Pan. Ting Wang, <laughs> and in TESOL, Nura Saad Al Kaldi, <laughs> Nora Ahmed Al Kumer, <laughs> Yujie Zhao Go. <laughs> Jing Li, <laughs> Mulu also awarded the Aster Award, <laughs> Yu Qin Chan, <laughs> Han Yan. <laughs> Yang Zhang, <laughs> Yu <are>, Yao, <laughs> Zhao, <laughs> Yuan Jun, <laughs> and in TESOL, Intercultural Education, Ran Zhao. <laughs> Jie Zhang, <laughs> and in TESOL, Teacher Education, Ari Armadi, <laughs> Mia Yong Tang, <laughs> Dimitra Christofoulou, Tian Wang, and 
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language for Education with Honors, Umi Awa. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Science in Development Economics and Policy, Raffaele Buffardi. <laughs> Kirsty Booth. <laughs> Jingyi Chen. Georgios Floros. <laughs> Yiting Ching. <laughs> Bernice Abba Anamawaba Monka. <laughs> Nana Akosua Ofo Suhene. Imsu Chivi Suos. Anna Elizabeth Thurlbeck. Justin Tuso. Elizabeth Maria Cadiz Vandervoort. Yang Lei Shui. <laughs> Hong An Zhang. <laughs> Meng Yue Zhang. <laughs> Fei Jian Zhao. <laughs> Yubo Chao. Nana Chu. <laughs> Chi Han Dung. <laughs> Yu Ching Gao. <laughs> Yuan Yuan He. <laughs> Ching Jian Hu. Huey Yu Jin. <laughs> Fei Yu Liao. <laughs> Yung Zhuang Loa. <laughs> Chen Ma. Catherine Viviana Montalvo Gesto. <laughs> Samira Mbeyu Saidi. <laughs> Jingyu Wang. <laughs> Lai Wei. Yukoa Shie. <laughs> Yalu Shung. <laughs> Shan Yen. <laughs> Iyewe Zhang. And in international development, Edward James Bass. <laughs> Ida Erkihan Bayissa. <laughs> Muhammad Usman Dastgir.
Stephanie Elizabeth Duxbury. <laughs> Min Young Kim. <laughs> Federica Mara. <laughs> Martina Matulova. Marika, Mariko Sharon Miyashita. <laughs> Christina Sabine Fitzgerald Moore. <laughs> Eva Mark Ngitu. <laughs> Praise Obayelu. And in International Development, Development Management, Stephanie P. Alex. <laughs> Shaikh Bashira Banu. <laughs> Mei Ki Fu Kuo. <laughs> Cheng Lin Lin. Claire Lunn Rockcliffe. <laughs> Shashage Tamara Middleton. <laughs> Bernardita Munozek. <laughs> Haruka Nomoto. Vidya Nasari Bidodo. <laughs> Uching Shie. <laughs> and in an international development, envir environment, climate change, and development, Deirdre Rodine Allen. Taniris Baitasova. <laughs> Mayo Goda. <laughs> Wanir Gong. <laughs> Rosella Louise Payne. Michelle Andrea Pena Herrera Proano. <laughs> Daniela Louise Pledger. <laughs> Christian Porter. <laughs> Colleen Sullivan. Max Giacomo Vedotto. <laughs> and in International Development, Globalization, Trade and Industry, Hiro Ranjit Balani. <laughs> Dan Chen. <laughs> Lu Han. Kwame Kwarteng. <laughs> Tresha Gay Kerryanne Malcolm. <laughs> Felix Even Ruguiza Ngogo. Goga. <laughs> Chi Ben. Tatenda Zuzi. <laughs> Anna
and in International Development, Politics, Governance and Development Policy, Elena Berdud Fernandez. <laughs> Pamela Felicidad Hartley Pinto. <laughs> Barwako Hassan Hussein. Thierry Mukyo. <laughs> Esther Imenza Ndagala. <laughs> and in International Development, Poverty and Inequality, Chloe Airy. <laughs> Rayma Najim Abbas Al Balhaus. Amelia Lauren Allen. <laughs> Ruth Kifle Bezu. <laughs> Gazelle Maria Brown Neto. <laughs> Matthew Joshua Cram. Catriona Mary Craven Matthews. <laughs> Devyani Gajar. <laughs> Relista Ferdani Haroun. <laughs> Lauren Sarah Kennard. Elsa Marie Margot Lemur. <laughs> Eni Yanake Murundi. <laughs> Sandra Karina Ordones Gonzalez. <laughs> Emma Jane Pollock. Charlotte Elizabeth Wood. And in International Development, Poverty, Conflict and Reconstruction, Hala Iyad D. Abu Miser. Sara Eva Acosta Giando Manico. Anjali Chauhan. <laughs> Richard Copeland. <laughs> Emily Grace Jones Herbst. <laughs> Ruby Jasmine Kellard. Lila Khan. <laughs> Sophie Elizabeth Patricia Lane. <laughs> Elizabeth Lewis. <laughs> Elizabeth Nava Valdez. Anita Pavic. <laughs> Alison Payne. <laughs> Perrine Irlande Sal. <laughs> Thomas Shelley. <laughs> Amy May Wright. And in International Development, Public Policy and Management, Christian Gradev. <laughs> Ms. 
Arlette Elena Guerrero. Amanda Hillary Hussein. Mercy Hoka Kibathi. Gua Ching Li. Nimade Rahayu Maitri. Jessica Pace. Jia Wen Jin. Tian Bi Jin. Claire Widowson. Chang Jen. And in Research Methods with Education, also awarded the Platt Prize, Bobby Dutton. <laughs> Beatrice Maud Utram Halstead. <laughs> Kerry Ann Jones. <laughs> Dee Poo. And in Research Methods with Human Geography, Yulia Kulnich. And in Research Methods with International Development, also awarded the Platt Prize, Claire Cummings. Rong Lei Yang. And in Research Methods with Planning and Environmental Management, Christopher Joseph Moss. And in International Development, Public Policy and Management, Fiza Sajjad. ask all graduates to stand, please. And um, could you put your hats on, and this is important, with the tassel to the left. No, majority to the left, but this was also the noisiest graduation today, so I'm not <laughs> expecting perfection here. If I can then ask the rest of you also to stand up so that we can congratulate them one final time in here. All that remains for me is to wish you a very, very pleasant afternoon and evening. I hope you have some celebratory plans uh, ahead of you. And then I declare this ceremony closed. Thank you. Ooh.